Yeah, it took about 35, 40 minutes, mm -hmm. I have to say. It's like getting a gallon of water, they say, and I felt the difference, at least being hydrated right away. The next day, a little more clarity, um, you know, more focus, more energy. I had the immunity boost. I haven't been sick yet, so that's mm -hmm. good. Okay. Um, yeah, it was definitely interesting. I was glad to try it. I certainly think I'm going to go back and do it and maybe try a different mix up. But we want to get a better idea about the real medical benefits of IV therapy right now. Absolutely. And so we are talking to Dr. Nisa Chellum, who is a functional medical doctor. She's here with some input. When you say functional medical doctor, what is that? So normally when you go to, I'm an internist, which is the traditional medicine that we're all familiar with. When you go to a functional medical doctor, instead of diagnosing your disease, giving it a name and connecting it to a drug, a functional medical doctor asks only two questions. What does this person need in order to heal? Or what do they need to remove in order to heal? And when we get to, it's a lot of detective work, when we get to the real root cause, we're in many cases able to resolve a lot of the symptoms and disease processes. Sure. And so when you see something like IV therapy, yes. um, and it targets obviously different conditions, what do you think about that? I mean, certainly the health benefits um, seem to be absorbed or felt right away by the people who go. That's right, because when you do IV therapy, you're giving something directly into the blood. And so the um, the levels of the uh, vitamins mm -hmm. are instantaneously high, right? So you get a higher therapeutic dose. Like when you take a vitamin, it takes a few days. It has to go through the absorption process. Mm -hmm. Whereas when you give it in the IV, you get what we call supra-therapeutic doses instantaneously. So it's a great short-term fix for a long-term problem. Mm -hmm. I heard this was eventually used to defeat hangovers. Somebody had a hangover down in Miami, had some drip therapy, and they felt better the next day. That's right. So there are different cocktails. So they would do it for hangovers, for like you said, for a lot of travel, jet lag, migraine headaches, fibromyalgia, chronic pain issues. Things that traditional medicine just gives you a lot of medications, but you don't necessarily have relief of your symptoms. Mm -hmm. And you, get, what happens to these people is they actually feel better. But again, something that's quick, Anything that's quick is a short-term solution. Yeah. So what happens, you have to frequently have it. Yeah, and, and certainly eating right and exercising yes. plays a role. And if something maybe you're doing consistently with this, it might make a larger impact right. rather than not. And we were talking in the break that it's good for people who have stomach issues and Correct. can't even take some of these vitamins and you can bypass that altogether. Uh, yeah, and uh, a lot of people don't like to swallow so many capsules. And sometimes mm -hmm. you do need vitamins if you've been sick for a long time. And I think it's a very quick way to provide the IV. But is it cost effective? How much does a session cost? So let's look at supplements. When you look at people buying multiple supplements, mm -hmm. it's anywhere from, I think people have spent anywhere from 100 to $300 a month. This one sitting, it can be anywhere from 150, 180, yeah, to, and, to, you know, to 300, to depending 300. on what you're getting. That's and then you're doing that. it only once in six weeks. Yes, and yeah. sometimes, yes, exactly. So it's interesting. And there are, I mean, just like any IV, that you get, whether in your hospital or that, there's a risk. Though. There is always a risk. When you're sticking a needle, there's always a risk, right? You're gonna have pain at the site of injection, there can be swelling, there can be a possibility of infection, if it's not, you know, for whatever reasons. And there are specific populations you have to be careful. People who have kidney problems, elderly, heart failure, because you're giving it through a fluid. So just the surge of fluid can put you into heart failure if you're not ready for it. When you so have, talk to your doctor or see yeah, if this you should is actually get a blood test. for you. And certainly um, they had registered nurses there doing but it. But you enjoyed it. I did. Yes. I, I did. I liked it. And I know many of my friends have done it and, and they enjoyed it as well. So, you know, to each his own, just like anything else, I'm sure. Absolutely. Exactly. Exactly. Right. But you're very, if you're really, really well, it may not show much of a benefit. Okay. Well, good to know. Doctor, thank you so much. Thank you. All right.